buses were off, the white buses were just last lot, so uh, we appreciate it. Um, our distinguished guests, uh, Chief Brian Bird, Blue Fire Department, uh, Tim Bowden is our uh, museum historian, he'll read the uh, for the record, and uh, uh, Chief, uh, Chief Bird will have a proclamation from the city. We'll do that first, Chief. Sir. On behalf of the Toledo Fire and Rescue Department, the City of Toledo, and Mayor Wade, Captain Cabbage, we extend our sincere condolences to the family of Firefighter Durham. I have a proclamation here from the Mayor's Office. I'm just going to read a portion of it. Whereas Dan retired in 1984 from the Toledo Fire and Rescue Department, which he joined in 1958, proudly serving as citizens of Toledo, Ohio, as a firefighter for over 26 years with assignments at Station 6 and 11. Whereas Dan loved to sing, and he'd often bring, break out in song, amusing his children and connecting with them as adults. Dan was known, known as an environmentalist before it was popular, and always taught his children to use resources wisely and was steadfastly opposed to waste. Dan found joy in everything from his gardening and cooking to taking rides along the riverbank or shooting bank shots and clearing a pool table. And whereas Dan is survived by his, his four children, Kathy, Karen, Barbara, and Daniel, now therefore I, Wayne Capsicavage, Mayor of the City of Toledo, do hereby remember and honor the life of Daniel Durham and do urge all residents gathered here to join me in celebrating and honoring the life of an extraordinary person whose commitment to service truly made Toledo a better place. Again, on behalf of the Fire Department of the City of Toledo, I sincerely welcome Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, this is our uh, museum historian, Tim Bowden, retired firefighter. He's going to read uh, what we call the bell. It's called the bell ceremony. The bell has a long tradition in the history of our church, our country, and the fire service in particular. The sound of the bell can be both pleasant and disturbing. The bell became one of the first instruments used to sound an alarm of fire in a community. For many years, firemen and firefighters began and ended their tours of duty at the sounding of the bell. One of the signals of the bell in the fire service was the sounding of three taps on the bell to indicate a job was completed. So it is appropriate that we sound the bell three times in honor of the primary band. could be the person next door, a person's person with the memory of a young child. They may have never gotten over the excitement of engines, sirens, smoke, or danger. There are people like you and me with wants, worries, and unfulfilled dreams, yet they stand taller than most of us. They put it all on the line when the bell rings. A firefighter is at once the most fortunate and the least fortunate person. They are people who save lives because they have seen too much death. They are gentle people because they have seen the awesome power of violence out of control. They respond to a child's laughter because their arms have held too many small bodies that will never laugh again. They are people who appreciate the simple pleasures of life, hot coffee held in unbending, in unbending fingers, 
a warm bed for bones and muscles compelled beyond feeling. The camaraderie of the brave and the divine peace and selfless service of a job well done in the name of all mankind. They don't wear buttons or wave flags or shout obscenities. When they march, it is in honor of a fallen comrade. They do not preach the brotherhood of mankind. They live it. Thank you so much.